It's well known the traffic and travel of summer dies down after Labor Day. The hours are pulled back at places where tourists have been visiting all summer. One such place is White Sands National Monument. If it wasn't so hot, you might think the sand was snow. This is just a plastic flying saucer they use in the snow and the kids go out and they slide down the sand dunes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just like they were in the snow. Yeah. It's fun to watch them. Half a million people visit this monument each year. It's the most visited in all of New Mexico. Even though it's popular, the National Park Service cut its budget by $81,000. With that cut, a change in hours. A lot of the visitors who come here live in other parts of the country. And for them, it's not something they're too happy about because, like the rest of us, they pay federal tax. They should really think twice about where our money is going. And as a taxpayer, I just am just sad that this is what it's come to. The superintendent of the monument, Marie Sauter, decided to cut back the hours, opening at 8 a.m. instead of 7 a.m. and closing an hour after sunset instead of at 10 p.m. Thing is, Sauter is saving money by sharing equipment, among other things, not by changing the hours. That's for another reason, safety concerns. If I can't hire enough staff to have double coverage, to have two law enforcement rangers out at night and in the evening, um, and they're spread thin throughout the 15-hour period. It makes sense for me to, uh, to shorten the hours so that I actually can overlap the staff that I do have so that my law enforcement rangers are actually out in the park together. There are a little over a dozen workers to handle the half million visitors and this summer was especially taxing. I did notice that my staff was uh, a little more tired and it is my, my first song, my last song will always be to take care of folks and keep them safe. During a rescue operation, help is needed from White Sands Missile Range and Holloman Air Force Base. Not all the visitors are upset about the hours changing. Because I mean, even though I do come here, I'd probably just, you know, like a little day trip and then be on my way again. Yeah. And especially since it's just the winter, so I mean, the sun's going to go down a lot earlier and everything. When the sun goes down is exactly when solder begins to worry. Visitors have become lost in the daylight, but nighttime is when the risk is much higher. Solder says visitors always need to do some preparing of their own when they enter the sands. We recommend a gallon of water a day, um, hats, shade for the head, really important, sunglasses. I can't go out into the park without my sunglasses. Sunblock, absolutely. Or if you have a long sleeve shirt, we wear long sleeve shirts all year long, uh, particularly in the summer. Um, good, good sturdy shoes and um, take snacks. The new hours will last through the end of the year. You can still register to backcountry camp and request to enter the monument early. You'll need to give seven days notice to enter earlier than 8 a.m. Sloan Patton, KRWG News.